Hi guys, uh, Nessie here. Um, okay, I thought I would do a craft along video. Um, I'm not very good at these, to be honest. They make me nervous. I kind of think there's so many of them out there. Are mine really any better? <laughs> um, not that it's about being better, of course. I mean, are mine any different? Uh, so in my last journal, I made um, a kind of like a flip book out of playing cards and I used um, strips of fabric to do the binding, which I've then discovered is a tab binding or a variation of tab binding. And there are hundreds of videos out there on how to do tab binding. But I wanted to do another thing with tab binding. So I thought, oh, I wonder if it would work with envelopes because I absolutely love envelopes as well. So I did a prototype to see if it would work. And um, I think it works quite well. I obviously made some mistakes while doing the prototype. So I will still use it because um, with junk journaling, you can usually fix things and make them usable. But I've was going to make another one and while making this I've discovered that what it involves is a lot of for planning you really need to plan it out before you join it together so let's go through the things you need to do first of all you need to decide on what you're going to use for your tabs now in my um, playing card one I used strips of fabric didn't really want to do that again so I know a lot of people use like washi tape and paper and things like that wanted something a bit thicker than that or stronger so what I did was um, I cut some strips of card out of the um, kit that I'm going to use to make the envelope journal and um, I cut them into strips of card measuring one inch by two inches. I sewed around them just because I thought it looked pretty and I've inked, folded them in half and inked them. So that took quite a long time to do. So I would say that's the first thing you need to do. So it's just a strip of card, two inches by one inches, um, sewn around and I've inked. Um, I did put a little bit of Teflon paper on the back. So what you've actually got is card, Teflon, and then a bit of backing card. Folded them in half and inked them. That was the first bit of planning. The second thing that you need to do is kind of decide on the layout of your envelopes, how you want them to lay out. Not only do you want to decide how you want to lay them out, but you kind of need to decide how you're going to have the openings on each envelope. Um, like whether you want them at the sides, the bottoms, the backs, the fronts. I'll kind of go through that as I put it together. I also inked all of my envelopes because I like everything inked. And so I just inked it all because I think it's easier to do before you join them together. I didn't ink these and I regret not doing that. Um, the other thing I think you need to kind of plan out is um, what you're going to do with it, basically. Um, whenever I've made envelope journals before, I've always matted all the envelopes. I didn't want to mat these envelopes. I want to... Um, decorate them with fussy cuts from the um, kit that I'm using. So I tea dyed all my envelopes and coffee splattered them as well. Obviously before inking them I did that. So I worked out my layout, I tea dyed my envelopes, I coffee splattered my envelopes and I then inked my envelopes. I worked out the positionings of them and where I wanted them to open and did all the faffy stuff really. In this video I'm going to put it together. So, first off, as I've mentioned, I'm going to use, be using a kit in this one. Um, I'm not going to be using the kit in this video, but just to let you know that I am using a kit. It's a wildflower kit by um, My Porch Prints. There's actually two kits here, I think. I can't remember what they're called, but I will put it in the description 
it doesn't actually say on any of the printouts. But yeah, um, now when I use this kit, I am going to be using like the envelopes and the journal cards and stuff like that. I'm probably going to make like the pages, pages like this, I will probably make into journal cards. Pages like this, I'm going to fussy cut these images and use them to decorate my envelopes. That's why I'm not matting my envelopes. I have actually started doing some fussy cuts. There, here you go just to show you like I have started for I haven't done the inside bits because the blade in my knife wasn't sharp enough I need to change it but yes I'm going to be doing these kind of fussy cuts to decorate the envelopes these are from the pages the journal pages of the kit okay right so let me see this is my layout now I have used a large brown envelope for what I'm going to use for the cover. So let me show you. It was um, a large brown envelope like this and I cut it in half and I'm going to use one half for the front and one half for the back. Now I am probably going to mat the front cover and decorate it just to give it a bit of strength and I will probably mat the back cover as well just for the added strength now let shall we I'm going to show you how I'm joining these together so I am going to use um, previously I used um, five tabs this one has one two three four five six seven seven tab binding just because of the size of it it is quite big. Do you want to know how much it is? About 10, about 10 inches. Right, so the first thing I need to do is work out where I'm gonna put my first set of tabs. So I don't want them to go right to the edge, so I'm gonna bring them in half an inch. So let's say, where's my pencil? I'm just gonna put a little pencil mark, half inch from the top, uh, bottom I should say and a half inch from the top. Okay, so if I glue those in, and I'm just using like fabric tack glue, I'm gonna need to put quite a bit where the stitching is because I kind of find that, don't go right to the edge either, leave a gap at the bottom there because you kind of can't put your envelope right to the edge because of the folding. So I'm just going to line that up with my half inch mark. Now you've got to make sure you're, I'm working on the back. So this is the front of the cover. I want my tabs here. So the first set of tabs need to go so that the loose bit is on the inside. So it will be like that. Does that kind of make sense? Well, I hope it makes sense. This does take quite a while. I don't know if I'll be able to do all of it without it take being a three hour video, but I'll do as much as I can. And then I'm going to line it up here. with that half inch mark not going a bit further than that um i'm kind of eyeballing it but i would say leave about an eighth of an inch maybe away from the fold because you want it to be able to fold and do you know what <sighs> have i done that right i'm working back to front by the way so this is my back cover and then I work forward to the front. Do not start with your, uh, well, I suppose you could, but I start with my back cover. So this is my back cover, is it? Oh gosh, I'm so confused now. Hold on. Would it be? Hold on, I've got to think now because I'm a little bit confused. If 
that's my front cover we go there like so yeah no nope, this is my front cover i'm sorry this is my front cover why am i getting con no it isn't nope i am working on my back cover i'm sorry so sorry about this this is why i don't do these videos they confuse me so this is my back cover i've done them on the wrong side okay i've done them on the wrong side so let's peel those off right so let's peel that off so this is my back cover I'm starting from the back and working my way forward does that make sense right so there's my back cover so i want them on this side i want them on this side so if i turn it over I can't remember how I did it. Oh, how bad is that? Do you know what? I'm not going to do it from my back cover. Oh, this video is not going well. I'm going to do it from my front cover. So I've just used the wrong envelope. So this is my front cover and I want them here. So this one, I wanted to have the opening at the side here. So I've trimmed it on that side punched a hole because not a hole like a tab thing so that I put a card in there right let's start again that was a waste of my time wasn't it <laughs> sorry for the confusion right front cover turn it over so you've got the inside envelope up mark half inches in half inch in Half inch in, so then I need to glue my tabs back on. So I'm going to use these same ones, put a bit more glue on. I thought I was so organized and I wasn't, and that just went so wrong on so many ways. <laughs> uh, hopefully, it will be smooth sailing now. So let's glue the first tab on and let's glue this tab on. Um, I will rub those marks off later. My um, rubber's not here. Okay, so now I want seven tabs in total. but So I'm going to mark out seven tabs. This one's going to have four on. So if I'm just going to eyeball it. So if I did four there. And then I will need three on the next envelope, giving me my total of seven. So... Um, I kind of just eyeball and space them out a bit where I think they look good. I could, you could measure it obviously, but I'm quite a lazy crafter. And if I can get away with not measuring something, I am not going to measure it. I'm going to eyeball it. Um, and I think the charm of junk journaling is the fact that it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be precise. So you can actually get away. Right, so I need four on this envelope and then three on the next envelope. So I don't need those three, but I'm going to leave them there now just for a guide while I glue my other two on. Um, just going to slip it under. Don't go to the edge. Sorry if my head gets in the way. Hopefully you can understand what I'm doing, get the gist of it. It can be a bit fiddly this, but I think the results are worth it. 
so there's that one and then let's slip this one on Okay, so that's the base. It's a lot easier once you've got those four on. So that's the inside of my front cover. Right, my next envelope is just a plain big envelope, which I'm leaving as an envelope as it is. So this, turn it over so it's that way. Now you've got two options here. You can either hold it there and then slide these under and glue them on like so I put a bit of glue what well, I'll show you so you line your envelope up get your tab make sure your envelopes are lined up the way you want it and then you can just Put this under it's got to go under make sure you put it under leave your little quarter or eighth of an inch glue it down and then you do the next one now the other thing i need to tell you is with this one you need an even amount of kind of pages so hold on a sec line it up and just lift it up and then you can glue it on underneath yeah you need like that's page one this is page two you need an even number of pages because ideally you want your back cover to have four tabs on it not three so with this one, I've used like 14 sets of pages. That's including the front cover and the back cover. Glue it. Obviously, you can take your time with this. I'm kind of trying to do it as fast as I can so I can get as far as I can. line it up leaving a gap glue it down right when you've done that you now need to glue the four tabs that were on the front page down onto this one like so so we need to now glue these on to that one so I'm not going to the edge push the tab down now not all of my tabs will cover all of my envelopes there's like a slight gap here don't know if you can see that but it doesn't go right to the edge to me that doesn't matter to you it might but I'm not worried about things like that other people might be you do it your way don't you I like it when my junk journals aren't 100% perfect. I think it adds to the kind of the character and the rustic look of it. But I do understand everyone's different. And then the third one. over uh... 
Now, when I did it with the playing cards, after I joined them all together like this with the fabric, I then sewed around my playing cards, which was very fiddly, to anchor down my tabs. You don't need to do that at all. I'm not doing it with this one, obviously, because these are envelopes and you can't go sewing through envelopes. So that's my first two pages done. Now, my next set of pages, I'm doing um, split. So I'm going to have this one at the bottom, which is a big envelope that I've folded, not quite in half, but a little bit in half. I've sealed it because I want this part here to be a pocket and I've cut a notch out. And then this part will be a pocket, so I've cut a notch out there. And that's going to be um, for the, this page. And then on the top half of the page, I'm doing another envelope, which is a smaller envelope. And this is why you need to plan your placements out. This envelope, I've, um, decide, I've sealed it, but decided to make the seal into a pocket so this here is a pocket and then i've opened sl slit open the top well the bottom of the envelope and put a notch in so that when it's upside down i've got a pocket and a pocket so firstly let's work out our placements so i'm going to use one two three these four here for this envelope and these three for this envelope here does that make sense to you? I'll show you anyway. So the first thing I need to do is turn it over. Um, line it up. Now the other way you can do it, like before, I just held it in place and then I would glue that under and glue that under. The other way you can do it, this bit one doesn't have a bit of brown card on, is line your envelopes and glue these down first because then it this is a good way because it holds your envelope in place while you're doing the other tabs lines it up but it's a bit more fiddly because obviously once you glue these down you can't lift this up so you have to kind of slide these ones under also um i'm just going to use a bone folder to kind of push them down a bit and then this one which doesn't really have a backing on but I'm sure it'll be fine obviously the card didn't quite reach to it see look that's lifting when I've joined them all together the whole book I will um, big clips on the spines and um, leave it overnight just for it to dry or a few hours anyway so yeah you stick those down this is the other option and then that's not going to stick is it it's because there's no backing on it all right I'm just going to leave that for now but I'll, I'll change that one later so then now, because you've glued those down, you don't have to keep lining it lined up. Put a bit of glue on. And then, imagine that's there. Then you kind of just have to slide that under. Now, the other thing you need to do is notice how I'm lining up these tabs with the ones underneath. So... That one is now lined up with that tab that's underneath. You have to, you don't have to line your tabs up, but if you want to get the, um, I suppose I, you would do, I don't know actually whether you have to line them up or not. I would say you have to, but do you see how they're all lined up? So line your tabs up as you're going. So there's that one. No. Oh, yeah, I thought I'd glued that down for a minute there, but I hadn't. I just folded it over. Do not glue this side. You're just gluing that side. Then um, some glue. And then on this 
this end one it's going to go I'm really going to have to change that one because it's just not gluey or maybe I will use a different glue or some double sided sticky tape just doesn't want to glue probably because there isn't a backing on it that's not a problem so that's now that envelope joined see I don't want to move them too much because they're not dry and then for the top envelope which will go this way up. Make sure you've got it the right way up. It has to go. So I'm going to line it up with the other envelopes. I'm going to glue this one down first. And then you just keep doing this really stacking your pages on top of each other the way you want them to go or your envelopes i mean obviously you don't have to do an envelope you could just do like i did before with playing cards or pages or bit of glue Hold down so this one I'm going to slip under here and glue it push that one down while I'm at it you could take us so much more time doing this um, make sure it's lined up with the one underneath See, I've seen people do tape, but I prefer to do glue because it gives you that bit of wiggle room, doesn't it? Yeah, I would probably leave a bit more time for these to dry in between doing them. But I don't really want this video to go too long. I don't, personally, I don't like watching videos that go on for too long, so... I want to try and keep it into an hour and we're already half an hour in and we've only done two sets of pages so um, I might do it in two parts or I might just go as far as I can and then you make your own way from there you'd have to let me know if you wanted another video showing you how I, the whole thing okay there we go now, for my next set of pages, I'm going to do something a bit different. I want to use some small envelopes in this as well as just the big envelopes. But obviously, like the little tiny envelopes, they're not really going to work on a tab. Like, I mean, I want to use little envelopes like this in there. But that's, I mean, I suppose it would work on a tab, but it's just going to be awkward. And I don't know if I like that. So with this one, I've decided what I'm going to do is mount my little envelopes onto a card, onto card. So this is a page from a backing page from the kit. And I'm going to attach this one and then I'm going to mount my little cards on it. Now I've backed it with some tissue paper. Um, I would normally have sewed that, but I didn't. don't know why I didn't sew it, but I probably would have. So I'll leave it for now. So I'm just going to line that up. And then um, I'm going to glue these down first. To me, it's easier doing it this way. But like I say, you can do it the other way. If you're not very good at sliding things in that are already glued down. It might be easier to do it the other way and also keep in mind your front cover try not to do anything that's going to go over your front cover well I'm not going to do anything that goes over my front cover I feel like <laughs> journals are personal aren't they so you do what you want to do I just want to keep it all inside the front cover so if I glue these down first I 
this one. That one's all right in it. The glue's taking a bit of a while to take. Any that don't really stick first time, I would go back over at the end, stick them down again and then clip it to let it all dry. And this one. And then I'm going to take some tabs and do the in-betweens. Keeping in mind to line it up with the tab that is under it. There we go, that's lined. And the next one. Line it up with the tab underneath again. And you, you just keep repeating this process for every set of pages or envelopes that you want to do. You go to four, then three, then four, then three, then four, and so on. Ending, like I say, your back cover on a, on a four. I would end it on a four because it's stronger. Well, yeah. Okay, so you see now on this page, I was going to um, kind of like mount these envelopes on here like this. Now also, I will go over my tabs with pockets. See, cover the tabs with the pockets. And like you want to be careful as well that when you're adding tabs, you don't stick it on... Um, somewhere that you that you're going to open if you understand what i mean because you don't it won't open i need to put some powder on that to stop it from sticking yeah you don't want to put your tab on there because then that's you sealing the envelope shut so you really do have to think about what you're doing so i was going to mount those on that one which i won't do now and then on the other side I was going to just like mount a couple of envelopes like that maybe but yeah you have to be mindful of where you're putting your tabs because look like for example here this goes over the opening of that envelope doesn't matter in this case because this is going to be a pocket but if it wasn't going to be a pocket that would have sealed that shut does that make sense to you? So anyway, there I'm using just a piece of card on that one. So if you were going to make your whole journals out of card, you see it's doable. So my next page, I'm using a big window envelope. Um, again, I have decided that I wanted it opened on the side. I've cut a notch out. Um, I haven't put any music paper in there. I don't like the inside of envelopes. I don't like these blue patterns. Um, I know some people do and that bothers it then, but it, I just don't like it. So I would actually glue in a piece of music paper or a book page so that you get that. I haven't done that, but I will do that. I also haven't used any junk mail envelopes. The only reason I haven't used junk mail envelopes is because I don't want to mat them. 
I want to decorate them with fussy cuts so that's why I haven't but if you're going to mat your envelopes then use junk mail envelopes and if actually you just like the look of junk mail envelopes then use junk mail envelopes you don't have to use I'm a bit of a um oh I don't know I love my envelopes so because I love my envelopes I have hundreds of the damn things I have hundreds of envelopes I just I love them I love how they're just all different sizes and shapes so I'm going to glue these ones down first like so now you see I'm trying I'm being ambitious trying to do all three at once I don't know why I suddenly decided to do that right that one that one let's hold those down sometimes I wish I had an extra pair of hands well maybe it's quicker doing all three at once There you go, and then I will need four for this one. Uh, so, must line them up. Like I say, I'm not bothered if it doesn't go right to the end. If it doesn't go to the right to the end, and you know it's not going to go right to the end, don't glue the whole tab. Because you don't want to, um, your pages will stick together. <laughs> That's one. Um, I love doing stacked envelope journals, but I just, uh, I wanted it to be more like a book. Oh, I was panicking that that was lifting, but it's supposed to. Slide it in, make sure it's lined up. Yeah, I mean, they don't have to be 100%, but you want them roughly lined up. And then this one. Pushing them down at every opportunity I get. Ah, oh, you see, there's another one. I'm not going to use that one because it didn't stick last time. So it's a good job I made loads of these in spares. It's also so much easier to have them made and ready to go. Bottom, line it up. Okay, so I'm using two envelopes again on my next page. This one is just a normal envelope that I've decided I'm going to use as a side. So sealed it, trimmed it off. That's going to go there. So I'm going to use those three tabs for that one. And then there's a big square one, which with this one, I've decided I wanted to use this as um, a pocket. And so I've glued it down. I'm hoping it's going to work as a pocket. Kind of just, or kind of like a tuck spot where you could just, yeah, I think that'll work. And then um, I've slit open the top to use as a thing I haven't punched it I wanted a little punch notch in that one Where's my little... I 
wanted a notch in it and for some reason I haven't added one so just let me quickly punch that because it's going to not be able to do that once it's glued or I suppose I could do it but it would be very fiddly to do there you go it's just a circle punch um oh just let me quickly ink it as well don't like it when it's not inked everything's got to be inked for me just don't like that raw edge look obviously some people do and if you don't want to ink don't ink it's just personal preference and then this one's going to go here but i'm turning it over so you've got a plain black and the pocket will be on the back side and then i'm going to use those four there to glue that one down but this is what i mean you don't have all your envelopes you don't have to have all your envelopes facing up you can have some of them facing backwards and do that on the other side so let's do this one first put it down make sure it's all lined up i'm going to glue these two down first Fold them over. Hold on, it's moved a bit. There we go. I quite like using split envelopes. I think it's quite nice. And then I'm just going to use one more tab on this envelope. Now you see this is a sealed envelope so it doesn't really, is it a sealed envelope? Yeah, so I don't need to be mindful of the enclosure on the other side. But that wouldn't have affected the enclosure anyway, so... And then the square envelope, I want this way up because that's going to be my pocket and there's my opening. Now, this is, I'm probably going to have to be a bit more mindful on this one. Am I going to overlap it? Yeah, I'm sorry, sorry, I'm just seeing where the tabs are going to lie, that's all. Okay, so I'm going to glue these two down first. Make sure you do leave a gap at the bottom, because if you don't leave a gap on the bottom, your hinge is going to glue together as well. Although they do pull well. I managed to separate the ones that I glued together in my other journal, in the other one I made. But, I mean, if you wanted it to go right to the edge, you could always put a little slither down there and a slither down there. Then you know that the whole thing's joined. Now you see that tab there goes over that pocket but that shouldn't interfere with me putting something in that pocket I don't really have anything to hand no see I could still fit something in there that one and that one and then I need another two hinges 
for the other side. Oh, you are going to get spells where I'm quiet. I'm, as a person, I'm not very good at like small talk. I feel like I'm rambling sometimes. So I said to just be quiet. <laughs> I know a lot of um, people when they do videos like this, they talk a lot about their families and what's going on in their everyday lives. And I'm just not good at that type of thing. I'm not that kind of social type person. And then this one will slip under there, lining it up with the ones underneath. There we go. And then those will open like so. Okay, next page, I'm using a huge envelope, a big envelope, um, which I've just folded because I, li I like flip outs. Everyone knows I like flip outs. This one I've decided will open from the top all the way across, so I've just slipped that open like so, folded it over. That's going to go on there like that. So I'm turning it over. Now you see, this is envelope isn't big enough to go across all of the tabs. Like I was saying before, so I'm just lining up where I want it to go. Then I'm going to glue these ones down because that will hold it into place. I find it a lot easier to do it this way. And this one. So um, the kit that I've bought, the two kits, I, I can't remember the name. They're wildflower kits from Porch Prince, my Porch Prince. I will put them in the description below. But they came with quite a lot of kit envelopes in it. So um, with the kit envelopes, I'm going to use those as flip outs on this journal. Like, for instance, there's quite a few nice ones. She's got some lovely ones. Uh, this one isn't from it. That's from a different thing. Um, this one. I love this one. I love how she's made the flap kind of follow on. So I'm going to use these as flip outs. Now, I will either, for example, glue that down and use it as a flip like that, or... I might add some tabs, let me bring this over, some tabs to the envelope, like so. Let's space them out and then I would add them onto the other envelope like this, the other join like that, so that you've got the same kind of binding as this. That's what I did with the, um, with the playing cards. Being mindful that that's inside my cover. Yep. Okay, so this needs four. Now, because it doesn't go right to the edge, my tabs don't really fit. Like I say, that does not bother me. I don't mind that. But I'm going to be mindful of where I'm putting the glue. So I don't want to put glue on that. I don't want to put glue on that bit there because. Um, it would just glue my journal shut. And now I've gone right to the edge, which I shouldn't have done either. So it's just that little bit of square there that I need to put glue on. I don't want it to go along the bottom and I don't want it to go along that edge there. I'm just going to... Does that make sense? So that when I'm gluing it, I'm only gluing that section there. 
line it up yeah so i'm only going to glue i'm not putting any glue on the bits that are not going to be covered with an envelope or card or paper that are exposed the areas that are exposed do not put glue on and the next one writing it under line it up Now this one, see, I'm rushing, don't rush, check, take your time, check it, so I don't want glue on that side, make sure you always, don't rush it, take your time, I'm just rushing it because I want to try and get it done in the time, in as short a video as possible. So there again you see the bits that are exposed I'm not gluing this is another reason why I put the brown backing paper over the Teflon because um, I did I don't like the white of the Teflon I don't like the starkness of it and where it's exposed you are going to see <sighs> I think when you're doing something vintage like this and you have things that are what really stark white and exposed it just jumps out at you doesn't it okay so for this page I decided that I wanted this to um, work as a belly band so this is going to type of be kind of like a belly band so I've sealed it I've just sealed the one end just the end there in the hopes that this will work as a belly band this might be a bit big yeah too big let's try something thinner so that will work as a belly band you just slip something in there and so then I've cut the bottom open so I can also get a big card in there as well so again look this does not cover all of the tabs so I'm kind of trying to even it out so you've got the same kind of gap on each one but so here I'm only going to glue this bit here it's just all about pre-planning thinking about how things are going to work when they're stuck down I find a good 50% of my journals are all spent on pre-planning things working out the layouts I'm not the type of person who just whams it together and then um, just wings it with a lot of stuff I'm like that but most of the time I need to know what I'm doing and where it's going and whether it works out okay so again see if i had glued all of that it would have stuck down to the envelope that's on the behind it it would have stuck onto this sorry it would have stuck down onto this bigger envelope here so that's why i just glue the part that's going to be shown I'll show you on the other side. Just... So 
so like yeah when this opens now yes you are going to see a bit of the hinges but that doesn't that doesn't worry me at all i just think it adds to the character of it like i say you might be different in which case if you are make sure you plan that your envelopes are covering all your tabs i'm happy with that but this is why i backed the taflon with the brown card because you're not going to want a stark whiteness there are you also when you're um, gluing them they will lift like this but that will settle down as the glue dries and also as you're layering them that won't happen so now i need three for this one I'm just going to glue these three on and then um, I'm not going to glue the rest of the pages in because it is coming up to about an hour long. But I'm just going to show you what I'm using or how I'm doing my other pages. If you absolutely really wanted to see me glue in my other sets of pages, which I don't think there's many left. There's one, two, three, four. Five. Oh, yeah, I'm about halfway through. If you absolutely really wanted me to show doing my other pages, I'll do another video and I'll post it if you want to. Quiet, Charlie. Mum's doing a video. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's a Saturday. I have told my little boy he needs to be quiet, but he keeps calling me. So my husband sent a message on the... Um, on the... Um, Alexa type Google thing not realizing that I actually have one in my room as well <laughs> so I do apologize for that and just put this last one on and then I'll show you how I'm doing the rest of my pages like I said, I, I will make a video, but I won't upload it unless people really want me to. Because, I mean, you kind of get the gist of it, don't you? You're just layering up your envelopes like this. And you just keep going as far as you want to go. See, I'm just checking that I haven't covered where I want it to be a belly band because I don't want my tabs to go over these because that will ruin the pocket or the plan of my pocket. So with my next page, I'm doing another two um, double envelopes. So I was going to do this one up here using those three tabs there. That one will go there using those three. And a bigger one, which these I've left as just as normal envelopes, but I want the pocket on the back side. So I will use those four tabs there to do that one. And then the page after that, I've just used um, I've just used uh, one big envelope that I'm going to open this way, and that will go on there. And that one I've left as a normal envelope. And then after that, I'm using a long thin envelope, which I've decided I wanted to open at the top. So I've opened the top, cut a notch. And again, I will put music paper over that because I really don't like that blue. And that will go that way. And then after that, I've got two smaller envelopes. This one I've left as a normal envelope. And again, this one I've done as the bottom part sorry door <laughs> bottom one is a pocket and a side opening which I just the same as before and cut a notch and that will go there and then for the next one I've used a large envelope which will go here now with this envelope I like I like my stacked pockets three pockets so this one I wanted to have to be three pockets. So I've sewn, I just sewed down these to make them into pockets. I didn't want it to be one big pocket. Do you understand what I mean? 
and then that flips out and I've sewed down here as well because I didn't want it to be open all the way or for these tags that go in here I didn't want them to drop down so I've also sewn down there and that's a going to be a large pocket there and then lastly will be my back cover which will go on there and this one I've decided to open at the top with a notch and that will go on there so I'm going to stop it there I think you kind of get the gist of how we're doing it I'm going to carry on I'll make another video adding the rest of the pages but I won't upload it unless people actually really want to see it because I think you kind of get the gist but obviously if you want to see me doing that then I will do the video and I will do that so yeah I hope that was useful to you you have to stop I hope that someone's had a fall. I I'm really sorry, my aunt just had a fall. I'm gonna to have to stop there and um I'll carry on in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>